Hey everyone, it's Mary Beth from MB Gray Designs. So for this project, I used a size G. It's very hard to see on here because it's like printed in white. 4.2 millimeter hook. And then I'm using the Yarn Inspirations Care on Cotton Cakes. Um, and I really, really like the feel of this cotton. It's actually... It's a four weight, um, suggested uh, hook size is five millimeter, but I found for these wash cloths that I like it better, a little bit tighter, um, because it just, I don't know, I just feel like it gives it a little bit of a tighter look, you know, so I went down to a G instead of an H, and this is 60% cotton, 40% acrylic and I really do like the feel of it and I think it's okay to use it as a, a washcloth even though there's some acrylic in it um, and the colorway here is called amethyst sky it's really pretty it has some blue and purple and grays in there so beautiful yarn okay so this is a super duper simple pattern you can make this any size you want there's no multiples, number of stitches, nothing that you need to worry about. I started with 21, a chain of 21. This um, washcloth is, let me get my craft mat. I think it's about six by six. Let me, let me double check here. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, six, yeah, roughly six by six, a six by six square, okay? But again, if you want to make a bigger one and then you fold them over, you know, that's fine too. You can make it any size you want. So when we chain, that's going to be, you know, it's a square, so that's going to be the size. So I'm going to just do, I'm making um, three of them. I have two of them made, so I'm just going to do the exact same size that I did, which is 21. Um, let me zoom in and we will get started. So we're going to start with a slip knot. Oh, and this is super beginner friendly. There's only single crochet and half double crochet. That's pretty much it in chaining. Um, okay, so after you have your slip knot, we're going to just go ahead and chain 21. Okay? But again, or whatever number you want. It doesn't have to be even. It doesn't have to be odd. It's no multiple. It can be anything you want. So it's a super duper easy pattern. Um, which is nice. And there's just a two row repeat and and then the border around it is super simple also. And they work up really quick as well. So I think these would make you know really good gift to, um, to make several and package them up maybe for you know your mom or sister or something. Um, let's see I've got one, two, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, twelve, thirteen. I have seventeen, so I'm just going to do four more. Okay, so for for the first row, what you want to do, we're just going to single crochet all the way across, and we're going to start in the second stitch from our hook. Now remember, the yarn around your hook is not a stitch, so. That's the yarn around my hook. This is the first stitch. I'm gonna go a little bit closer. Just wanna make sure we can see really well. Okay, so the yarn around my hook is not a stitch. Okay, so we're gonna skip that first stitch and we're gonna go right into the second stitch. And to do a single crochet, we're just gonna go straight into the stitch, yarn over and pull up your loop. You'll have two loops on your hook. You're just gonna yarn over and pull through both loops, okay? And then just go right into the next stitch, yarn over, pull the loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through, that's your single crochet. And that's all you're gonna do is just single crochet all the way to the end of this first row. And you should have 20 stitches. Now again, you can start with any number of stitches. If you wanna make it much bigger. Maybe you do like 40 or 41 stitches or 45 stitches or whatever um, 
whatever you choose to do for your length. Now, do remember though, the border that we're going to put around this is two rows, or two rounds rather. So that'll add a little bit of um, width and height also to your washcloth. So, um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up this row. And then we'll move on to the second row, which is very, very easy. So just continue to do your single crochets in every chain that you made. My work's getting in the way, sorry about that. Oh my gosh. Um, until you get to the end of this row and I'll meet you right back here. Okay, so I've made it to the end. I have one stitch left, so make sure you don't forget that very last stitch. So just go in, do your last single crochet, okay? And then we're gonna chain one and turn our work. We're always going to chain one and turn, okay? All right, so the next row is just going to be half double crochet. So since we only chained one, we're going to yarn over and make sure that you go into this very first single crochet from the previous row, okay? Because that chain one did not count as a stitch. So go into the first one and do your half double crochet. And as a reminder, a half double crochet, you yarn over first, you go into your stitch, yarn over, pull up loop, and you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and just pull through all three, okay? So yarn over, go through your stitch, pull up a loop, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops, okay? And that is a half double crochet. And I got my yarn snagged, so I'm going to do that one over again. So we're going to do a half double crochet all the way down, okay? And then all we're going to do is chain one and repeat row one and row two. So your next row would be single crochet. Just remember to always go in that first stitch from the previous row because your chain one does not count as a stitch. And then chain one and turn your work and do your half double crochets. So you're just going back and forth, single crochet, half double crochet, single crochet row, half double crochet row. And you're going to do that until you get the height that is approximately uh, the same size as your width to make a square. Okay, so mine ended up being roughly 20 or 21 rows. But you can just keep doing it, and then when you get the height that's pretty much so it's a square, that's where you'll stop doing those rows. And that's where I'll stop, and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to do the border, and we'll finish it up. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and I am working on my 21st row to make it a square, okay? And I want to apologize for the quality of this video, I use a webcam and I really need to get a nice camera and they're super duper expensive. So I think I'm going to ask for one for Christmas. So just bear with me. My, my videos will get better. Um, so I just wanted to apologize for that. Um, all right. So I'm just finishing up my last row. One thing I wanted to mention is try to end on it. It would be good to end on a half double crochet row. Okay. So However many rows you want, end on a half double crochet row. I want to also point out, look at that, made a mistake. I added an extra stitch, and I didn't notice it until later, and I thought, you know what, I'm not pulling it all out, frogging it all out, because we're going to be doing this border, and it's going to end up just fine. So this is such a forgiving, simple pattern. You don't have to worry about anything like that, okay? So just go with it. I mean, it's a washcloth, right? It's not, it's not like a piece of clothing that you're going to wear. So I'm going to scooch in a little bit. I, again, am so frustrated with the quality um, of the video, and I do apologize. So I really hope you guys forgive me for that. Um, all right, so I've got two more stitches. I'm on my half double crochet row. So I'm going to finish those up. Oh my God, this last one, sometimes it can be hard, so bear with me here. Oops. 
and because I am crocheting a little bit tighter, I'm using a smaller hook. Um, all right, now what we're going to do is we're just going to go around the whole piece first with a single crochet all the way around, and in the corners, we're going to put three single crochets, okay? And then we're going to do a border of half double crochets, and that's really it. So the way I'm going to start it is I am going to chain one, and just like we were doing, half, we just did the half double crochet, I'm going to do single crochet, but instead of stopping, I'm just going to go all the way around, okay? And I will finish up this corner when I get to the end. So I'm just moving along like we have been. I'm going to put a single crochet in the first stitch. Okay, so since I chained... 21 in the beginning and we started in the second chain from the hook I had 20 going across and like I said that one row I I, I kind of screwed up so I okay, don't worry about it I mean if you notice it soon that's great you can you know <laughs> undo your work but I would hate for someone to you know undo a bunch of their work because of it because honestly when you see the um the border it it, it should kind of forgive it and cover it up okay so don't worry about that um, and again, it's a washcloth, but especially if it's a gift, you want it to look really nice, right? And I think these little cute washcloths, you know, um, you wrap them up like I did. Um, they look really cute and presentable as a nice little, um, holiday gift. Now, one year, just FYI, one year I made Christmas color, you know, washcloths and they were really cute. The only problem with that when I gave them as gifts for the holidays, you know, not many people want to use them after Christmas, you know, I mean, I guess, but so I've decided this year, if I give some of these away, I'm just going to make normal colored so they can use them all year round. Um, all right. I have two stitches left. So I'm going to go into this one and do my regular single crochet. All right. And then in that last stitch, I'm going to do three sing single crochets, so let me get in there. All in the same stitch. So there's one, I probably should go a little bit closer. Move down here. So there's one, in that same stitch, I'm gonna do a second one, and then a third one, okay? Now, on the sides, where we don't have, there's my mistake, where we don't have stitches, what I tried to do, I mean, you're just going to kind of estimate. If you put stitches too close together, you know, you're going to notice or too far apart. So you want to single crochet down the sides, okay? So I'm going to start right here in that half double crochet row, okay? And I'm just going to go in there. Oops and put a single crochet and then I'm going to go into it looks like this is the single crochet row and I'm going to put a single crochet oops I do like to get through at least two strands um, so I'm going to kind of go a little bit further and you just want to do it evenly the best you can again it's it's a washcloth it's not you know you know, you just do the best you can. Um, but just try to evenly put those in there, okay? All the way down. And then when you get all the way down, don't forget, my mistake here, when you get all the way down in this last stitch, which would be the first chain of the bottom of your washcloth, put three in there and then you're going to work on the opposite side of your chain all the way across okay and then you'll put three over here and then work all the way up this side and when we get back to the beginning I'll meet you back here and show you what to do okay so I'll be right back okay so I made it all the way around with my single crochet one thing I want to mention when I had that little bump because of my mistake, I just slip stitched over it. There's still a little bump, but we'll fix it with the half double crochet round. So like I said, it's 
you know, it's okay if you make a mistake. Um, all right. So I'm at the end of the single crochet round, but remember when we started, we didn't do this corner. So I'm going to go into that last little stitch here in the corner and I'm going to do, oops, I'm going to do three single crochets to end that. Actually, sorry, I don't want to just grab that one loop. It makes it kind of a hole. I should have gone down in here. All right. So three single crochets. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to continue moving right along and we're going to do half double crochets. When you get to the corner where you have your three single crochets from the previous round. You'll have double crochet in the first one and in that second single crochet in the corner, you're gonna do three half double crochets and then you'll do one in the third single crochet from that corner and then continue on. Now it's easier because you have your single crochets now on the sides so you know where to put your stitch. So it's much easier. This round will go really fast and it's, it's very simple. So I'm going to start with uh, putting my half double crochet, that first stitch after the corner. Um, I think, hold on, kind of struggling here. Oh, I see what I did. Okay. Right here. Okay. And then I'm going to move on and do a half double crochet all the way down. Just putting them in the single crochets from the first round of our border. And this is the last round that I did. I mean, you could do, you know, you could continue on and make a bigger border if you'd like, or add a shell border, whatever, whatever you want. This is a super easy um, pattern. I just decided to do single crochet, half double crochets because I thought, you know, for a washcloth, they're kind of uh, uh, closer stitches, not as many, you know, it's not as holy, I guess, as uh, a double crochet stitch. So that's what I did. Um, all right, so we're going to get down. I'm going to show you how to do the corner for the half double crochet. Almost down there, just a few more stitches. I did not change yarn. My yarn just changes automatically the color with the yarn that I'm using. So it kind of worked out that it changed to this other color for the beginning of the half double crochet round. That was just luck. Okay. <clears throat> so... I'm at the corner of the single crochets. This first one right there is the first of those three. So I'm just gonna half double crochet one in there. The next one is the middle one of those three. And that's where I'm gonna put three half double crochets all in that stitch to round it out. One. two, and three. And then the third one from the previous round in that corner, just one. And then you just keep moving around. Like I said, it's easier now on the sides because you have your single crochets from before. Because I have this little issue, I may just uh, slip stitch. I'll see what I want to do down there. Again, that was just a mistake I made that I'm trying to <laughs> somewhat correct as I move along because, you know, it's very forgiving, this pattern. So yeah, I'm just going to go through half double crochet all around this dish washcloth, putting three half double crochets in the corner. Remember the middle single crochet from the previous round's corner. All right. 
And then I'll meet you at the end and show you how to finish up and do this corner. And then we'll tie off. I'll show you how to tie off and hide those ends, okay? So almost done, very simple. And we'll be right back to show you how to finish this project. Okay, I made it around. I'm at the very end. I have two stitches left. One um, <clears throat> that was part of the three from the single crochet corner and then the middle one. Okay, so I'm just gonna half double crochet oops, in that first one. And then I'm gonna put three half double crochets in that center one. One, two, and three. Okay, and then all I'm gonna do to end this is I'm just gonna slip stitch over to this first half double crochet that we did right there. And to slip stitch, I just put it straight in, pull up a loop, and just pull that loop through the loop that's on your hook. And I'm going to slip stitch twice, so I'm going to go into the next one and do the same thing. Okay? And then I'm going to cut my yarn. You don't need to leave a super long tail or anything for this one. Oh, got caught. And just pull it through and tighten it up and there you go all right now to tie your ends in uh, i'm going to back out just slightly uh just grab one of your um yarn needles okay and notice that when we started this is technically the back side because this yarn is coming out the back side, although they pretty much look identical, okay? But because this is hanging just kind of off the top, I am going to sew it in on the back side, okay? So I'm just going to take my yarn and put it, you know, thread it through my yarn needle. Okay, and then kind of turn it over. And I'm just going to, I will scooch just a little bit closer. Doo, doo, doo. Okay, I'm going to um, just go, because this is kind of my cream color, I am going to stay and not put it on my purple side. But I'm just going to kind of pull through some of those back stitches, but not all the way through. I'm not like sewing in and out. I'm just kind of going through the tops of those stitches in the back. And I'm just going to weave a few times through those. One, two, and then I'm going to go back this way. Oops. And just weave through back that way. And pull it off my needle. Just kind of tighten it. Now when I cut it off, I tighten it a lot. Okay, I pull it. Don't rip your yarn, but I pull it. And then I cut very, very close. Don't cut into your project. Okay, and then I pull it back out and that that is hidden and it's not gonna it's not gonna come undone. Okay. And then with the purplish color, I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm just gonna weave in anywhere, you know, in the purple vicinity by the tail here. I'm just gonna go a few different ways and you know tie it in. It's very simple. Again, just don't like sew all the way. Don't sew all the way through. Okay, just kind of grab, you know, that top layer of um, of a stitch back there. I like to try to go in different directions. Because, you know, you go in a few different directions, it's impossible for this thing to, you know, come undone. So, all right. And then again, I'm going to just kind of pull, you know, somewhat tight and cut that right there. 
And there you go. And so here are my three washcloths. All done. I'm going to back out even more so you can see. All done. I think they look really super cute. And like I have in the uh, picture, these are smaller, so folding them would be, you know, tiny. But you can just roll them up. Very cute. Roll, roll, roll. Roll, roll, roll. Roll, roll, roll. <laughs> you know, if you want to package them nicely, just roll them up. You know, maybe stack them like that or however. And then just tie a little tie a little ribbon around them. And it would be really cute. Um, gift, I think, to give to somebody or, you know, or keep them for yourself. They're very nice, nice, nice washcloths and they'll last a long time. So I hope everybody enjoyed this video. If you do have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I will get back to you again. I apologize for the quality. I am working on that, but, you know, I got to buy equipment and stuff and that takes some time. So I hope that um, you do understand that. And you know, if you're um, already subscribed to my channel, thank you very much for supporting me. And if you're new, I would love to have you. Um, so please hit that subscribe button and we'll talk to everybody soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.